we're going to move into a back series. We're going to bring um, our lightest TheraBand into our hands and we're going to stand against a wall. We're going to take our arms into a diamond shape after we've wrapped the ends around each hand, around the knuckles with the thumbs on the outside, holding the arms overhead in a diamond with the hands touching. We'll start by imprinting the tailbone, the mid back, the upper back, the back of the arms, the head into the wall. Notice the front ribs. See if you can bring the sternum towards the wall, closing off the rib cage. From here, exhale your dominant elbow, sliding it along the wall towards the side of your body. You'll notice that the other arm has to be right above the head so the band doesn't hit you in the head. So make sure that other, the, the non-dominant arm is right above your head. And once you get it there, inhale it back up to the diamond and begin again. Stay on that dominant side. Exhale, pulling down to the side of the body and inhaling back up. This is, mimics a lat pull down, but you have to find the imprint, which involves recruiting the upper back and turning off the chest where we're overactive. So keep checking in with the front ribs. Try to imprint those back ribs, bring the front ribs towards the back ribs, pressing them into the wall, and keep that going. As you inhale, the pelvis pulls towards the floor, but the pelvic floor muscles lift in and up. As you exhale, the inner thighs pull towards the wall behind you to stabilize your torso, lengthening the body. Give me four more, four, really working that upper back, and three, softening the heart inward, Now's the time to find the imprint, really using the back, turning off the front body. One more, and let's switch to your non-dominant side. Now, if this is fatiguing, you can always take a quick forward fold for the upper back to release it. But let's continue on. The goal is to build some strength to combat kyphosis that our sway back is pulling us into. So make sure that you're not losing your imprint. Mid-back, upper back. I don't want your low back imprinting. We want to avoid that pelvic flexion that we see so much with sway back. So there can be some space between the low back and the wall, but not the mid back and the wall. You got to find that imprint. Keep going. Take your time exhaling to pull down. And as that arm goes up on the inhale, feel your pelvis reaching in opposition down, lengthening your torso so that the obliques don't get short. We don't want crunching in the QL in the back. So we want to keep that side body long. One more. And excellent. From here, grab a three pound weight and hold that weight in your dominant hand. You're going to come back to the wall in a cactus position with your arms in cactus. Find your imprint once again. And from here, we're going to slide both arms up into a press, an overhead press. And then we're going to pull it back down to cactus, trying to keep our imprint once again. So the upper back, the backs of the arms, the back of the head, pressing into the wall. Give me four. So inhale as they press, exhale as they come down. Hear your breath. Inhale either through the nose or mouth. Exhale out the mouth. Good. Feel the opposition. The arms are going up, but the pelvis is pulling down. As the arms come down, the inner thighs pull back. So the energy lines of the body are important and they're associated with your breath. So don't hold your breath, use your breath. One more. Go ahead and switch sides, setting up on that non-dominant side for some extra repetitions. At any point, if you need to roll your shoulders out, standing in the center, rolling the shoulders, feel free to do so. Begin when you're ready. Inhale, pressing the arms up and exhale, bringing them back down. Again, the front ribs reaching for the back ribs, the back ribs imprinting into the wall. Now, when I say your pelvis is pulling down, it's as if I have a hold of your pelvis and I'm pulling it down on the inhale so we get length through the side body. But I don't want you to dump your belly out at the same time. So the pelvis pulls down, but the muscles that stop your stream of pee pull in and up on that same inhale. Give me two more, two more when you're ready. Inhale up. Exhale down and last one, inhale and exhale. From here, we have tied our lightest TheraBand a quarter of the way into the roller. We are going to bring our roller against the wall so we can stand on it with the excess of the band on the outside. 
and we're gonna stand on the band, uh, on the roller, holding onto the wall. So what I want is your dominant arm to be loaded first. So the band is, you have to tie it in a nice tight knot because I don't want it to pop up and hit you in the face. And make sure your non-dominant hand is by a wall, bar, or counter when you step up onto the roller. So we're not doing this in the center with no leverage. We need a little leverage. Make sure the knees are bent when you step up onto the roller for the first time because it will be jarring on your balance, but that's the point to get us really using our core as we use our limbs in space. So standing by a wall, we're going to step up onto the roller and we're going to hold that band in our dominant hand. One hand on the wall, step up onto the roller, and you want to wrap your feet around the roller. You can bring them hip distance apart if you have back issues or together if you don't. And I want you to point your toes, wrapping them around the roller like a bird wraps its feet around a branch. We're going to bring our outside arm up into scaption, a V, a high V, um, in line with our chest, palm facing the chest. So palm facing in. From here, we'll inhale. Exhale, circle the arm out, little external rotation, and then lower the arm back down by the side. Inhale the arm up as the pelvis pulls down towards the roller, and exhale, circle it out, two, three, four, and lower it down. Inhale, lift the arm up. Make sure it's right in line with your shoulder, so it's a V, like a high V, right in line with the chest, and circle, two, three, four, and lower. Give me two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, circle. Two, three, four, and lower. One more. Inhale, lift. And exhale, circle. Two, three, four, and lower. Stepping off the roller slowly. Coming to the other side, switching sides. Make sure there's a bend in your knees when you step up onto the roller. And keep a soft bend in the knees throughout. Don't lock your knees out. Wrap the toes around the roller. Hold on to that wall. Take your focus up eye level or a bit higher. Bring that arm in front of you. Make sure it's straight with a micro bend in the elbow. So pretty much in line with your chest. So it's almost like a frontal raise. Hold it here. Inhale. Exhale. Circle the arm out. Two, three, four, and lower the arm. Inhale the arm up, plugging the shoulders down, closing those front ribs. Imagine my hands on your shoulder blades. Bring the front ribs back towards my hands. Bend the knees softly. Feel your pelvis pulling towards the roller on every inhale. Inner thighs pulling back on every exhale. Toes working here. Really wrap those toes around the roller. Give me one more. Lifting it up, circling the arm out. Scapular stabilizers here. Recruiting, getting some movement without spraying the rib cage forward. On your next exhale, step off the roller slowly. And I want you to face the wall bringing your hands to a T on the wall. So turn and face the wall, standing right by it. You can set the roller to the side for a second. And we're going to come into a pec major stretch. Bring your dominant arm into a T, facing the wall, and twist away from it. Soft bend in the knees. Bring your head up onto your spine. Make sure that you can take your outside hand to your hip. Ground your pelvis towards the floor, pull the core in. And just breathe here. Each exhale is a chance to twist a little deeper, opening up the posturally tight pec major. And again, use your breath to deepen the stretch. If you feel any pain in the front of the shoulder, you've gone a little too far. A stretch is a different feeling than pain. So stay where you're just feeling some stretching, not pain. Breathe into that. On your next exhale, slowly turn back to the wall, taking your non-dominant hand onto the wall, moving into this stretch on the other side, twisting away from that arm, taking the whole body with you. Watch out for the forward head. Keep the head up onto the spine. I always think about widening the distance between my chest and my chin or looking up a little higher than eye level. That'll usually do it, the trick. Watch out for locking out in the knees. We don't want any of that bow-leggedness to be reinforced. So even while you're standing here, feel the bones of your big toes pressing into the floor. Soft bend in the knees. Focus up a little higher than eye level. Slowly making your way back to center. Great job. 